Hello everyone, I'm Rashid Amar, and today our presentation will be talking about a sub for river sand used in concrete. So talking about the outline of this presentation, we'll be talking, we'll be giving a small introduction for the presentation, and that we'll be going over the content of river sand, uh, and now that we'll be talking about the properties of river sand, and then river sand mining, and applications of river sand in many ways, and then uh, problems with the river sand in concrete production. So that's the first part of this presentation. And the second part of this presentation is talking about the alternatives and uh, finding actually the best alternative for, uh, as a replacement for the river sand. That's mean, uh, meaning that uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about available alternatives, we'll talk about the best alternatives, and we'll discuss about how we got to this point of having this uh, final uh, best alternative, how we found the best alternative for this uh, uh, river sand. So going through the objectives here, so uh, from this presentation, you all will get a knowledge about the river sand and its applications, and you'll understand the, a lot of uh, lot of the effects due to the use of river sand. You get a knowledge about the alternatives for the river sands, and then uh, finally you'll get the uh, the best alternative. You'll find you you will reason out the best alternative and why is why we have uh, taken it as the best alternative for the river sand used in concrete. So talk about a small introduction. This presentation actually deals with the different common substitutes for the uh, river sand used in construction. So since this is the most second, uh, second most used product in the world and second most uh, used product in the uh, construction um, field as well, uh, river sand has become a, a limited resource in our coastline and the effect is really high because uh, this is a non-renewable material and extraction of river sand has also a lot of effects on ecological balance as well. So finally concluding that uh, the substitute for the river sand has been a great important in the construction field. So uh, that's for my part of this presentation. So I'll be handing over this presentation to Babasara to continue. Thank you, Rashi. Uh, let's look at the ingredients of the river sand. We will need to silicon oxide, mean 93%, aluminum oxide, 2%, and magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, ferric oxide, potassium oxide. Uh, these are all the non renewable ingredients. Uh, next slide, please. Next, uh, when it comes to the properties of each ingredient, compression strength, finest module, flexure strength of a river sand, shape, permeability, repro thickness. Uh, the compression of the strength test is the most important since it is defined as the capacity of concrete to withstand the load before the failure. A uh, finance module of the sand if a compressive and sexual strength of a concrete. And also sand can, sand can have a different particle size, distribution and different shape. I'll give my opportunity to Anjana continue this presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada. Next, the concrete production. Start with mining river sand, transport it to construction area and store it. Finally, it will be screened and then it used in concrete production as a fine neck okay. uh, Ever since the history of construction industry began, river sand has been used as a major building material component. The application of river sand is all kind of civil engineering constructions, liquid form for manufacturing glass, used for mod modeling metal casting, used as an uh, abrasive and at last made of sandpaper. I will give the opportunity to Kavi. Thank you. Thank you, Anjana. There are several impacts on each stage. In the first stage of river sand extraction, enlargement of river mouth, heavy impact on farmers and fishermen, loss of riparian land, and collapse of river bank. In the second stage of transporting and sorting, greenhouse gases emission and sound pollution. In the third stage, water pollution due to the usage of river sand in concrete. Last stage of disposal, water, sound, air pollution, and land uh, space consumption. Next slide, please. 
Identify the alternating screw river sand are quarry dust, used foundry sand, construction of the demolition waste, spent fire bricks, and cowling sand. Quarry dust lower air pollution and low cost as byproduct of crushing rocks. Use foundry sand lower land pollution and low cost as well as a byproduct of the metal casting industry. Using construction and demolition waste can be lower large, uh, land and air pollution. Spent fire bricks low cost and has high uh, compressive strength and tensile strength. Cowling sap low environmental impact and has superior compressive strength. Next slide, please. A corridor's process uh, stone screening remains in the quarry can also be used as an alternative for sand. Quarry dust is abundantly available, so the cost is low and also contains similar components to natural liver sand when mixed uh, with 20% fly edge. I'll give the opportunity to Madhu to continue the presentation. Thank you, Pavi. Let's look at the discussion. Quarry dust is a final dust like practical produced during crushing rocks, fine as a byproduct of burning coal. Quarry dust is super plus availability is high. 20% of quarry dust is better than using river sand 100%. High speed tensile strength, local strength, compression strength by 10%. Acid resistant is have positive readings with 20% coal dust. Then look at the conclusion. Identifying ingredients of river sand, identifying properties of river sand, consider to reduce impact on environment, identifying the stored energy as a replacement. That's the end of our. Presentation. Thank you.